Hello, my name is Jack Josephowitz, and uh, I am a physicist that works in the field of thermal properties of materials. Often I'm asked to explain what thermal effusivity of a material is. The thermal effusivity, as defined mathematically relative to other thermal properties, is shown here. Effusivity equals the square root of a material thermal conductivity, the specific heat of the material, and the mass density of the material. In terms of the human experience and uh, an intuitive way to understand effusivity, consider two materials. Material A that's in contact, they have an interface where the two materials are in contact, material A and material B, where material A is at a higher temperature than material B. Under these circumstances, the thermal energy from A will transport across the interface into material B. The effusivity of these two materials then determines the rate of transport across that interface. And that's what this equation describes. So how does that relate to the human experience? So for example, if I take two materials, like this ceramic tile, floor tile, and this piece of plywood, um, they're both at the same temperature, room temperature, where if I touch the, the tile with my hand, with my fingers, the tile feels cold. Whereas if I touch the wood, the wood feels warm or relatively close to room temperature. Now the effusivity of this tile is significantly higher than the effusivity of the wood which means that when I touch the tile and my finger is at 37 degrees centigrade compared to the tile which is at 20 degrees centigrade, the thermal energy from my finger tip is transferred very quickly away from my finger into the tile, leaving the temperature of the skin at a lower temperature. So the tile is more effective at lowering the temperature of my fingertip than the wood which has a much lower thermal effusivity. So given that feel is in a sense a way that the human brain monitors temperature, effusivity has effusivity of a material has a big impact on the sense of touch and the sense of uh, cold or warmth that a material that you experience in a material that you touch. So for example, applications of this that are quite important are in designing materials for different applications, for example, such as uh, the dash in an automobile that's uh, made of plastic but simulates wood, if that plastic material has an effusivity that's high, then it will feel cold like a metal and obviously won't, won't feel like wood. So materials development of dashboard material that more represents the effusivity of wood would make that simulated wood surface feel more like wood and would feel like a higher quality dash. Another example where effusivity is important is in the design of clothes or fabrics and textiles for different applications for humans. So for example, if you have uh, cold weather and you want uh, clothes where the effusivity is low so that the thermal transfer from your body and your skin is low as compared to 
when you're in a warm climate and you're undergoing some sports activities, you want material that draws the thermal energy away from your body so that the effusivity of the fabrics um, is very important to the designer and the selection of different fabrics for different uh, clothes applications. In short, uh, thermal effusivity is a very important thermal property of a material when it comes to the human experience because everything you touch and the rate at which the thermal energy is removed from your skin gives you the perception of coldness or warmth uh, of the material that you're touching. So it's truly a parameter that speaks to touch and feel and sensation of that material uh, and it's warmth or cold. So that in a, in a nutshell is a very brief description of effusivity. Thank you.